Hey, it's me, Riker. Today we're going to have a look at the brand new season of the Battle of Blood. Now, this is a player versus player card game event where each player will get 10 random heroes where they will have to select five heroes and do battle against each other. Now, you'll have to complete various quests, which include both dailies and challenges. Now, the dailies you complete on a daily basis and the challenges you can complete throughout the entire duration of the event. Now, once you complete certain challenges or dailies, you'll be able to collect these rewards, such as a variety choice chest, which includes gold, EXP, dust, followed by another one over here. Then we have 10 summoning scrolls for the 40 and 80 point range. And the final reward is the brand new Peggy's brand new skin. Now, these challenges will require you to complete a certain amount of battles, such as 10, 20, and 30 battles, achieve a certain amount of victories, as we can see at 10 victories. Then the next challenge is reach a certain amount of points. This can be acquired by winning matches. So as we can see here, this starts all the way from 1,100 points all the way to 1,500 points. Then we have achieve two win streaks, complete a couple of sparring. Then you have to get victories using a certain factions. So you can use multiple or a single hero from that specific faction in order to complete this quest. So these include 10 light bearers, 10 maulers, 10 wilders, 10 graveborn, 5 hypergen, 5 celestial, and 5 dimensional heroes. Now, if you're struggling with these challenges, you can always request these medals, which is the Medal of Might. This will allow you to essentially complete this challenge without having to use the requirements from the challenge given. So, how do we do this? We simply click on Help, and we click on our friends or guildmates, and we can see here, these are the amount of medals that we can get from this individual per day. So let's have a look at the daily rewards as well. So similar to the challenges, these rewards include EXP, gold, dust, a summoning scroll, and a variety choice chest which include engraving materials, signature item upgrades, twisted essence, and po coins. Now these challenges are slightly easier to complete compared to the, the longer duration challenges, such as competing a certain amount of battles, achieving two victories. So once you have completed that, you simply click, click on collect, and you'll be able to get all the rewards for that specific day. Now this will automatically finish, and you can click on the final reward, and you'll get all of your rewards. The same thing is true for challenges. You simply click on collect, and you'll be able to claim all the rewards immediately. So once you've done that, you simply click there and you have got all the rewards. Now, as you can see here, you only require, you only require 100 points. However, you do, there are more than enough points, such as here, you can see that you only need 100 points from the 170 points available. So you can click on Spa if you would like to test out certain formations or you would like to practice your Battle of Blood uh, card picking skills, you can simply click on this battle over here and you can invite them to do battle with them. This is a quest that you can complete. However, you can use the Medal of Might in order to complete that specific challenge. So once you have done this, let's have a look at how this is done. We simply click on challenge and we wait for our opponent to essentially be matched up with. So once we are matched up, we immediately start with 10 cards. We can click on the eye so we can see our opponent's hero cards as well. So you need to pick specific heroes in order to counter the enemy, or you can pick specific team compositions that you can build, either stall so that you can outlast your opponent, or burst so you can quickly one-shot all the opponents and claim victory over your enemy. So, as we can see, each player picks two hero cards at a time, and once all five 
slots have been filled up, the battle will begin. So as soon as the battle begins, all animations and abilities are on automatic. So you essentially see the replay of the match you're currently fighting in. As you can see here, I built a stall based team, which I have two extremely powerful stall and control based tanks in the front row, followed by the stall unit Wukong, who can essentially make clones of himself and deal a lot of damage. There we go, a victory and another quest completed. Here we go, we can check the battle statistics to see which of your heroes are dealing the most damage or healing. 